Hey guys, Zoomni here, or Revolt Poseidon, former Revolt Wolf, bringing you to the motion track tutorial for my friend Zeus. He asked me to show him how to motion track, so here it is. Um, it's 2D text, looks 3D. It um, gets the work done. It looks pretty nice. Uh, sorry there wasn't a preview like usual, but uh, it's motion tracking, you should know what that is. You shouldn't need a preview. So, uh, first thing first, I'm going to give you some quick tips when it comes to motion tracking. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is... Uh, most likely scale your clip so that we could get rid of things like the word spectating right here the star triangle select button so you just hit this little arrow right here go to transform and then here's scale bump it up so this maybe it's gone and uh, here's Jesus Jesus on favela uh, so it's motion track let me try to get as much as Jesus as possible that's good and um Say you also want to make your clip shorter by making it faster, but time your mapping. Um, here's a quick tip that you're gonna need to know, absolutely need to know, um, before trying to um, motion track, because you might run into errors and things like that. So here I made the clip shorter, as you can see. Just go to all. Let's see, get the last part. Go to all, um, and right bracket if you're on the Mac to, to trim it easily. And um, so next thing you want to do is go to layer, new, no object, you always want a new object, let's name that motion track, and let's trim it, just because we want it, as, just as long as our cinematic, and so next thing you're going to want to do after that is go to uh, window, and then make sure tracker is select, and it'll pop up right here. So, um, you may notice that if you try to motion track this, it won't let you. So what you need to do is pre-compose the layer, that's my quick tip. You always want to pre-compose your layer. So, go to layer, pre-compose, and let's just call it first cinematic, because that's what I call it when I edit my video. And um, let's just trim it. By the way, um, quick tip, or something that you need to know. Make sure the bubble is move all attributes into new composition. You don't want this checked, most likely open new composition. You don't need that checked. So now what we're gonna do is uh, go to your first layer and make sure that you have the quality on full. So now select your pre-composition and go to track motion. And here's your track point. The track point is basically what, it, what the motion tracker is going to follow and where the movement is gonna follow. You generally want to pick a point that's in every part of the video. So I'm going to pick Jesus' face. Uh, let's make this bigger. This region right here, inside the box, is everything that uh, the video is going to search for. The bigger the, the region, the longer it'll take the process after you start analyzing the clip. So I'm going to start motion tracking Jesus' face. Maybe you're thinking, why don't I motion track the hand right here because during the cinematic the hand's just gonna disappear and if you motion track something that'll disappear the motion track will come out wrong and you can do that um, you'll notice that your trial and error motion tracking you're not gonna get this down most likely your first time so, uh, it's quite a bit of trial and error so um, basically yeah you want something that's like this that's gonna be um, throughout the whole clip so the motion tracker what it's gonna do is find images uh, that look that resemble this one right here throughout every frame of the video So once we have our motion track our track point selected just go right here to analyze and forward and And just let the tracker do his work it might take a while depending on uh, On uh, how much your, How big I'm sorry your track point is I lost my tongue there and so what I'm gonna do now is wait for the tracking to be done. I'll pause the video and resume once the tracking is almost done. All right, guys, I'm back. As you can see, the motion tracking is done here. This little line is basically the uh, the movement that the text is gonna take. So um, what you wanna do now is go to Edit Target. Make sure you have your No Object selected. Since mine is called Motion Track, that's perfect. And you wanna have Position checked. And what you're gonna do now is hit apply. X and Y is what you want for your dimensions. Hit OK. You can go ahead and close this. 
and uh, this thing like this, you see that it's motion track. So now what we're gonna do is add our font. So let's go ahead here and let's write uh, Poseidon. And uh, here's a nice font I use Apple Gothic. Anything Gothic looks nice. Gothic then looks good, but since I restarted my computer recently, um, I lost a lot of fonts. Um, so if you want to have a tutorial on how to make your text look really nice, shiny, nice shiny text, um, I'll put an annotation in the link, uh, annotation with the link right now to the tutorial my friend made. It's a pretty good tutorial, and. Um, it makes the font look really nice. So next thing what we're gonna want to do is make our text 3D. So I'll just hit this little check under the for this little boxes, and now it's in 3D area. If you don't have it on this mode, just hit toggle switch in modes. And now let's just move our text. Let's put it above Jesus's hand. Put it right there, and maybe you want to change the rotation. Just hit this, hit R. And um, let's really move this around, move it to your liking, however you like. Uh, let's see. Man, that's too much. Uh, sorry about this, this looks probably a bit noobish. I understand. Anyway, this is just a quick tutorial. You might want to spend more time. Obviously, uh, making your text look good. Um, let's just duplicate this. And let's make the second one say... Present. Um, and you, let's say you want to move this one to another position. All you gotta do is... Uh, whoops, I forgot it. Parent, my font. So... Let me just get my new Venus out of the way. Yo, let's go. We're going to make him have it, uh, look, have the font above Jesus' hands. So, all you got to do is parent this to the no object. Grab this and add it a motion track. Now, let's go back to that other frame. And let's parent this one to the motion track. You will see that it's motion. Your text is motion tracked pretty nicely, if I say so. I'm gonna go ahead and render this. I'll pause the video and show you how it looks when it's done. All right, guys. Here's the motion tracking basically being seen right now. It's not perfect, but it will do good enough to get away with. Uh, you'll see that this. Uh, you'll see this cinematic in a video that I upload. I'm gonna upload soon. It's a uh, episode for Revolt of Israel. What happened was um, I got a song from a copyright uh, non-copyrighted music channel. Turns out the song was copyrighted, so they basically screwed me over. So I have to start the edit all over again. You should see it by this weekend. I also have a video for Kong PNG coming out, and maybe M forty three Exes. So stay tuned for those. If you want to see, if you like how this text looks. Uh, you can't really notice it here because there's no color question in the background, but it, it is shiny and does look nice and I don't do it as well as my friend Zeus. I'm gonna put a link again to his tutorial on how to edit text to make it look shiny rather than using that preset that Taser made. So with this you can actually change the colors on like Taser's tutorial. So please rate, comment, like, favorite the video and peace.